Hey guys, hope you're all healthy, hope you're all safe. I wanted to do a video about building a routine into your day-to-day -day activities. Uh, this is a really unique time that we find ourselves in. And the great thing is that is that we're all in it together so we can support one another. However, it is um, a time when disruption is quite high. Our anxiety levels are high, our stress levels are high. And um, building a routine around your day will give you some control over a situation which is uncontrollable. So with your routine, um, remember um, when you're going into work um, and you're commuting to work, you are getting up at a specific time in the day. So try and do that even though you're at home, even though you're self-isolating. Still try and wake up at um, this, a similar time that you were before and still go through your daily routine that you were doing before. If you need to change that up, then write down exactly what you're going to be doing. Um, sort of hour by hour so you know um, you know at this time you're going to be waking up at seven o'clock in the morning and then um, you know we've actually done a list of what we want to do or what we want to achieve during the day um, so when we come to the end of our day we're like well yeah you know we had a really productive day and if there's no routine if there's no set um, sort of steps that you're doing throughout the day it can get quite erratic and that will bring your stress levels higher so Make sure you're waking up in the morning. Um, Boris has given us the opportunity to go out once a day to get our, you know, our exercise in. So use it, utilize it. Uh, we're not able to go out, you know, just to the to the playgrounds and the parks anymore. So utilize that that one window that we're we're able to have. And um, you know, exercising will increase our endorphins, our happy hormone. They will improve our lymphatic system, so it will improve our immune system. And we get our dose of vitamin D as well. It's such a beautiful day today, and uh, the last couple of days it's been gloriously sunny. So make sure, because at the moment, if we are self isolating, we're not getting any vitamin D. So our vitamin D levels are going to be lower than they normally are. And living in this country, we've got pretty low vitamin D levels anyway. So make sure we're going out and getting that happy um, vitamin into, into our systems. Uh, showering in the morning and also. Uh, when you're changing, get changed into clothes which you potentially do wear to work uh, or you're getting changed out of your pyjamas. You're not wearing the same clothing that you went to bed in. Um, I've got my makeup on, I've got changed, I've got ready because first of all, it makes me feel better, but it just, it sets the day. It sets that I'm, you know, I've got um, a list that I want to get through. And um, if I'm not already showered and changed I just feel like it's not going to be as productive as if I was sort of ready and you know ready to go make sure that you're staying hydrated I spoke to a lot of my ladies yesterday and if I haven't already spoken to you then um, that call is coming um, so just checking in with them and making sure that they're staying hydrated um, it's very, very easy, especially because we're at home, we're not drinking enough water. So uh, make sure that you are drinking enough water. You're taking time to um, make sure that you're getting that, that hydration. Making sure that we're eating the right foods. Um, nutrition is super important at this time, especially. Uh, we're restricted to the amount of foods that we can buy because a lot of the shelves are empty. However, the fruit and veg section is not empty. Um, so make sure you're having lots of fruit and veg. Whenever I've gone into the shops, especially in the last couple of weeks, the fruit and veg section has been completely full. So use it. Uh, that's going to give you your nutrients that you need throughout the day. So um, pre-plan pre your food if you need to, because again, that will give you some sort of control um, rather than having a big to-do list in your head and getting stressed out by, by having this. So... A short video for you but I just wanted to make sure that you are still being productive in your time at home you are building a routine we want to keep our stress levels low we want to keep our anxiety low because there's already so much fear that's going on outside so much negativity so we want to maintain that positivity we want to maintain um that sort of zen in ourselves uh, because otherwise it's going to get, get sort of out of control again 
Um, uh, one other thing is to limit your amount of time that you're watching the news or watching um, sort of, you know, updates going on in different countries. Uh, I myself was doing this at the weekend and my stress levels were up here. I was super stressed, super anxious, and I was just like, you know, um, and it's because my I, I rarely watch the news. I rarely um, have my, you know, I'm, I'm really inundated with messages, or if I am, I don't read them about what's going on in, you know, society and, you know, all of the bad things that are going on out there. And so to be flooded with this um, negativity and fear, um, it's going to do something to you. And it definitely did something to me. So um, if you do need to watch the news, just have that specific time. I mean, uh, the Prime Minister gives his, um, you know, advice. I can't remember what time it is, but, you know, a specific time during the day. Just have that half hour or that hour when you're watching that rather than constantly being bombarded with all these messages. So, um, yeah, limit your time on your phone, limit your time on your um, sort of news and all of that as well. So I thought, I hope this video is useful for you and stay healthy, stay safe, stay at home and uh, we'll check back in with you soon.